Welcome everyone, I'm Adam. In this problem, for the three points given by A, B, and C with coordinates negative 1, 0, 0, 3, and 3, 1, or representing the vertices of a triangle, what we're going to do is these three things. So part A, we're going to draw our triangle, A, B, C, and then B, we're going to find the altitude from the vertex B to the side given by A, C, and then we're going to find the area of the triangle. So let's get started with part A. So for part A, we're just going to draw our triangle over here in our little coordinate plane. So we're just going to sketch the points A, B, and C, and then connect the dots, making the lines of our triangle. So A, we're at point negative 1, 0. So X is negative 1, Y is 0. There's A. And then B, we have X is 0, Y is 3. Point B, and then lastly C, X is 3, Y is 1. So Y1, X3, right about here. So there's our point C. And we want to draw the triangle, so we'll just go ahead and connect these. Okay, so there's our triangle ABC. Now for part B, what we want to do is we want to find the altitude from our vertex B to this side AC. And the altitude, if you remember from geometry, is just going to be the distance of the line perpendicular from this point B to that line segment AC. So essentially like that, if we have a line it's perpendicular to this, and we'll call that distance, say h, that's what we're trying to find, the altitude of the triangle. Now, how are we going to do that? Well, this altitude, or this distance, is essentially just the distance from a point to a line segment. Or if we think of this line extending in our xy plane, it's the distance from a point to a line, it'll be the same thing. And so for our part b, we're essentially finding the distance from a point to a line. So D in our formula in our section, but here we'll call it H, the distance from a point to a line is given by the quotient of the absolute value of say some capital A times X1 plus B times Y1 plus C divided by the square root of say A squared plus B squared. Right, where again, the capital A, B, and C are the coefficients from the line, the equation of the line in standard form. That would be the line going through points A and C. And then X1, Y1 are the coordinates from the point we're finding the distance from. So X1, Y1, we know the coordinates of B, we have those. So what we need to do is find A, B, and C. Or namely, we need to find the equation of the line going through points A, C in our standard form. Now how are we going to do that? Well. Going back to algebra, how can we find the equation of a line? Well, we know two points that the line goes through. And so what we can use is namely the point-slope form of the line, or the form of the line that looks something like this. y minus y1 equal to m times x minus x1. Right? Where y1 and x1 are coordinates of a point the line goes through. So that's going to be different than this x1 and y1 here. And then m is the slope of that line. So, to find this, first we're going to go ahead and find the slope. So our slope right, is just going to be the difference of the y-coordinates of two points the line goes through. So if we consider like our second point C and our first point A, the y-coordinate of C is 1. So 1 minus the y-coordinate of A is 0. And then divided by the subtraction of the x-coordinate, so the x-coordinate of C is 3 minus the x-coordinate of A is negative 1. So the slope of our line here, right, 3 minus a negative 1 or 3 plus 1, we have positive 1 over 4 or 1 fourth. Okay, 
Now, putting that back into this equation and picking up a point that the line goes through. Now, you can pick either A or C. doesn't really matter. Um, let's go ahead and just pick, say, A. So y minus y1, or the y-coordinate of A, y minus 0, is equal to the slope 1 fourth times x minus x1, or x minus negative 1. And so y minus 0 is just y. Simplifying this right-hand side, we multiply through with 1 fourth. We'll have, say, 1 fourth x. And then negative and negative gives us a positive, so 1 fourth times positive 1 is plus a 1 fourth. Okay, so let's come up here and finish it up. So the equation of our line is y equals 1 fourth x plus 1 fourth. But what we want this is written in standard form. It means we want everything written on the left hand side set equal to 0. So we can just subtract everything over. So subtracting over 1 fourth x gives us a minus 1 fourth x plus y, and then minus 1 fourth, and that's equal to 0. OK, so like we said, that's going to give us our a, our b, and our c to plug into our distance equation or helping us find the altitude. So now we have all the parts we need. Let's just go ahead and plug it in and see what we get. So back to our altitude. So h again right, is the quotient of the absolute value of a times x1. So a coefficient here in front of x is negative 1 fourth. Now x1, y1 here are the distance from the point that we're taking, which is b. So that's going to be the x-coordinate of b, which is 0, and then plus our b coefficient in front of y, which is 1, times y1, the y-coordinate of our point b, which is 3, and then plus c, which is negative 1 fourth. So plus negative 1 fourth and all that inside absolute value. And then take divided by the square root of a squared plus b squared. So negative 1 fourth squared plus 1 squared. OK, and we'll just go ahead and simplify this. So what do we have? Negative 1 fourth times 0 is just going to be 0. Right? And so 1 times 3 is 3 minus 1 fourth. So 3 is 12 fourths minus 1 fourth is going to give us the absolute value of, say, 11 fourths, all divided by what do we have on the bottom? So negative 1 fourth squared, this is going to be just positive 1 over 16 plus 1, right? So 1 over 16 plus 16 over 16, think of it as 1, is going to give us positive 17 over 16. Okay, and just clean this up. Oops, in the square root. I got that part. Square root of 17 over 16. So just clean this up. Absolute value of 11 fourths is 11 fourths. Okay. Taking the square root of this through, we have the square root of 17 over the square root of 16, which is 4. So this can actually be written as root 17 over 4. But taking the fraction on the bottom, we'll invert and multiply that. So multiply this with 4 over, say, root 17. See there are 4s, we'll cancel. And so, last but not least, our h is going to be 11 over, say, root 17. Now that's a distance. So 11 over root 17 units. So that's the distance from vertex B to line segment AC, or the altitude of the triangle. Now the last thing we have to find is C, the area of our triangle. And what is that going to be? Well, let's come take a look at that over here. And lock ourselves off some space. 
So for part C, the area of a triangle, just writing down the formula, and we have a lot of A's and B's and things floating around, but the area A is equal to one half would be base times height of the triangle. So height is H is what we have. Base, coming back to our figure, is going to be the distance from A to C. That's the base. So that's what we have to do is find the distance from points A to C. Where B, so that distance, the distance between two points in XY plane is going to be the square root of the quantity X2 minus X1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. So our b is going to be equal to the square root. Our x2 minus x1 will take our second point, say is point c, and our first point is point a. So x2, the x-coordinate of c, which is 3, minus the x-coordinate of a, which is negative 1, so 3 minus negative 1 squared plus y2, the y-coordinate of c, which is 1 minus the y-coordinate of a, which is 0, quantity squared. Okay, and what do we get? So 3 minus a negative 1 is 4, so that's 4 squared, which is 16, plus 1 minus 0 is 1 squared, which is 1. So our b is just going to be the square root of 17. Okay, and now we'll put it into our area. So once again, the area of the triangle is going to be 1 half base, which is b, square root of 17, times height, which was our h, which is 11 over the square root of 17. And we see just multiplying through our root 17, and root 17 will cancel. And so we have our area is equal to 1 half times 11, or 11 half say, units squared. So there's the area of our triangle. Thank you very much.